Hello, in this video we're going to look at a two-person or two-consumer exchange economy. The utility functions for consumer A and B are going to be given as follows. And one thing you'll notice here is that for consumer A, good Y is a bad good. As a consumer consumes more of good Y, utility would fall. So recapping, consumer A's utility function is as follows. In the initial endowment, the consumer does not have any units of good X, but the consumer has eight units of good Y. Consumer B's utility function, a more traditional utility function, this would be a quasi-linear utility function. And the initial endowment here, 16 units of good X and eight units of good Y. We want to solve for the wall raise in equilibrium. First we get the demand equations from consumer A. Good Y is a bad for consumer A. The consumer does not want to buy any units of good Y, so the demand for good Y here is zero. As a result, the consumer will spend all of his or her income on good X, and the demand for good X then will be the money income divided by the price of good X. Consumer B. Let's get consumer B's demand equations. So we're going to get the marginal utility of good X first. Taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to X, we get back 1. And then we get the marginal utility of good Y. Taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good Y, we end up with this result here, Y raised to the minus 1 half power. The 1 half on the exponent gets multiplied by the 2, so that just becomes 1. And then we subtract 1 from that exponent, leaving us with y raised to the minus 1 half power. Forming the marginal rate of substitution, which is a marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y, we have the following. We're going to let the price of good y equal 1. We're going to normalize the price of good y to equal 1. The only thing that matters here is the relative price. So setting the price of good y equal to 1. And now we're going to solve this for good y. So solving this equation for y, moving this y into the numerator, and then squaring both sides, this will be the demand for good y. Consumer B's demand for good y. To get the demand for good x, we're going to write consumer B's budget constraint, so the income equals the price of good X times your initial endowment of good X plus the price of good Y times the initial endowment of good Y. And remember, we set the price of good Y equal to 1, so I'm not showing that here. I already made my substitution for the price of good Y, set that equal to 1. And so now we have the following result here. What did I do? For Y, I substituted in the price of good x squared, and now I'm going to solve this for x. Moving some things around and dividing through by the price of good x, we get consumer B's demand for good x. Now let's look at the equilibrium for good y. Equilibrium will occur where the quantity supplied, that'll be the total initial endowment of good y, equals the quantity demanded. So the quantity supplied is 16. Consumer A had an initial endowment of 8 units of good Y. Consumer B had an initial endowment of 8 units of good Y, so 8 plus 8 is 16. And on the right-hand side, we got the demand for good Y from consumer A plus the demand for good Y from consumer B. We know that the demand for good Y is 0 for consumer A, and we just solve for the demand for good Y for consumer B. It's the price of good X squared. Now we're going to just solve this by taking the square root of both sides. So the price of good x is 4. We let again the price of good y, we normalize that to 1. And as we stated earlier, consumer A does not get any units of good y. It's a bad. For consumer B, consumer B will get 16 units of good y. Plugging 4 into consumer B's demand equation for good y, squaring that, we get 16. This is for consumer A. This is consumer A's income. It's the price of good X times the initial endowment of good X plus the price of good Y times the initial endowment of good Y. Price of good X is 4 multiplied by consumer A's initial endowment of good X, which is 0. 
the price of good Y is one multiplied by the initial endowment of good Y for consumer A, which is eight, we get an answer of two. And since there are a total of 16 units of good X, consumer B will consume 14 units. So the total endowment from both consumers is 16. And since consumer A is consuming two of those units, that leaves 14 units for consumer B. Another way of looking at this is just take consumer B's demand for good X and doing a similar thing that we did for consumer A. So the consumer's income is the following price of good X times the initial endowment of good X plus the price of good Y times the initial endowment of good Y making our substitutions in here. Initial endowment of good X is 16. Initial endowment of good Y is 8. Once again, we get an answer of 14. Okay, that's it.